And welcome back to the PA Live Game Show of the Week. This one's called Dunder Mifflin Bullpen. Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders as office characters, and we're putting pitcher Aaron McGarity to the test in a rapid fire round, also featuring our phone a friend if we need a Madam Marco. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. Let's dive into the game. So, Aaron, we're going to give you a teammate of yours, probably one you spend a good deal of time with in the bullpen at PNC Field, and you'll tell us which character from the Scranton based mockumentary sitcom his personality fits most. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're going to start easy with our first contestant, Aaron McGarity himself. <laughs> Where, who do you think you are on The Office? Um, you know, if I had to put myself in a character, it would probably be Creed. Oh! Uh, a little mysterious, um, okay. you know, I tilt more towards the uh, uh, conspiracy theorist end of the uh, spectrum, kind of okay. like Creed does. So yeah. I like that. Interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that about you, Aaron. I love it. Next up, Matt Bowman. What do we think? Uh, Matt Bowman. Very analytical. Uh, oh. Does things his own way. Okay. Um, I'd say kind of Dwight Schrute a little bit, you know, oh. analytical. Could he be minded. a beat farmer? He could be a beat life? farmer, like maybe. His baseball thing doesn't work out for him? Okay, <laughs> I love it. How about Michael Gomez? Michael Gomez, um, uh, kind-hearted. Sometimes he can uh, say things uh, out of the blue, okay. and guys are, you know, look over at him like, you know, what was that? What, what was did that, you just Michael? say? Um, could be a Michael, could be a... Um, Michael Gomez. Michael he might be an Andy. Scott. He might be an Andy. Andy Bernard. Yeah. Preppy? Is he ever wearing pastels and pattern shorts? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, Sometimes. there you have it right there. How about Zach Houston? What do we think about him? Ah, oh, man, a lovable teddy bear. Um, who, who can we compare Zach Houston to? Um, is he a Kevin? I think he's a Kevin. Aww. I think he's a Kevin. Think lovable guy. Is he a good guy. chili recipe? Think I don't, you know, I don't know how his chili is. It wouldn't shock me though. No, it would not okay. shock me at all. That's all that counts. Okay, Kevin, it is. How about Spencer Howard? Spencer Howard, new guy, uh, just getting to know him a little bit. Um, kind of gives off surfer vibes. Ooh. You know, he's really easy, laid back, okay. goes with the flow, spontaneous. Oh, um, okay. So. What do we think? Yeah, what do we think More here? More spontaneous. Yeah, he's. Um, is he our gym? I he was might be our say, gym. Might he be yeah. a gym? He's easy to love. Right. Aww. Yeah. Well, then he's a gym. Of course he's a gym. Okay, Would he look at the that. camera and kind of roll the eyes back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about Matt Crook? Matt Crook. Matt Crook. Um, him a lot kind of a him. more um, yeah, serious guy for the most part. Can have his uh, lighthearted side, but okay. um, very, you know, down to business. He gets down to business. Yeah, thinking more Stanley. Oh, more okay. Stanley, yeah. He gets Diligent in, he does worker, the job. does his job. If there's a pretzel day, he's a fan, but exactly that's just about right. all we get you excited about. Okay, but next up, how about Ron? What do we think about Ron? Ron, you know, one of my oldest friends here on the team. Um, we both were uh, drafted in 2017, uh, know each other very well. Um, who? How, how are we going to describe Ron here? I'm thinking he's going to be more of a, uh, might be more of an Oscar. Oh, yeah. Oscar. Kind of okay, I like it. Logical. Logical. Thoughtful. Again, yeah. loyal to the friends. It goes way back. Exactly. I like that. How about Zach McAllister? We've got lots of Zachs. Here. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. we got a laugh. Yeah, what does that no, mean? he's uh, you know another new guy that we've uh, that, that just came over to us, and uh, you know he's kind of like the team dad almost Aww. at this point. He's got uh, a lot of years in the show, and um, he's kind of taken a few guys under his wing, talks to them, and. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking he's uh, he might be the, the captain of the office. It might be Michael Scott. Oh my God, Michael Scott himself. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Zach, how do we feel about that? How about Anthony? He's next. What do we think? Miz. Um, Anthony, Miz. he um, you know he can be uh, he can, he can be serious as well. Okay. Um, kind of does th does things in an oddball manner. Um, how can we uh, how how can we place Miz here? Hmm. Is he Meredith? He might be a Meredith. We need a Meredith. We need, we need a Meredith. Meredith. Meredith I know. Meredith is coming. Let's do one more if we have time. Greg, what do we think? Greg Weiser. Greg, I have a personal connection to Fordham Rams. I went to Fordham as well, so I, he's my fave. Yeah, I mean, great mustache. Um, obviously, you know, second place on the team, <laughs> you know, if, I, if I will. But uh, um, I, th I think Greg has got to be, uh, I mean, he's a close contender for Michael Scott. If, if, okay. if, if McAllister didn't have it with his, you know, uh, prestige. and two. Uh, let's two, two Michaels here. Let's have two Michael Scotts. It's, we can, there are no rules for the Office Olympics <laughs> Day, and this game officially kicks it off again. It's all going down Saturday, but there's games all week. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Aaron McGarity and Adam Marco, you'll see lots more of them and hear lots more of them all weekend long at PNC Field. Thanks for being here. Stay with us. More with PA Live after the break.